Hello you fantastic people, Panda here and welcome to Shrine Watch episode 20. The weekly Dead by Daylight show where we go and check out the four new offerings up on the Shriner Secrets every Wednesday, explain them at rank 3 and then take them out into some games and actually try them as survivor and as killer. This shrine is active from the 5th of December through to the 11th of December. Thank you so much everyone for the support on Shrine Watch. If you do find this series useful and maybe one of your friends could also gain some information from this and find out about the perks, please do link them it, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. So this is going to be an interesting week in Dead by Daylight. Obviously the PTB is up, Legion is on there, we've had some testing, but everyone has said that Legion sucks and they need to change them. So they put out a survey and hopefully all of you that have played the PTB will fill out that survey and hopefully we will try and get Legion to be better. They'll buff Legion and make it a bit more of a viable killer so that when it comes out it's not just crap and uh, no one plays it. Anyway, as soon as the PTP has been updated and they've changed Legion with whatever they're going to do, because I'm very sure they're going to do something, uh, I'm going to be on there and I'll make some more videos on the new killer. Do not fret. Okay, so what do we have on the Shrine this week? Well, we've got some stuff here. Let's go for Survivors first and examine our first perk, which is a Quentin Smith perk, and it is Wake Up. So Wake Up makes it so that when the final generator is done, the fifth generator is completed, both of the exit gates that light up and you get to see their bubbles actually stay visible for the rest of the game. The two panels will always be visible to you as the survivor. Also open the exit gates 15% faster, and another added bonus, which is quite nice for your team, is that while you are opening the gate, every single survivor in the game can see your aura opening that gate. So they should be able to see you, see that you're opening up, and then be able to make their way over there to attempt to escape. Honestly, I personally try to stay away from perks like this because perks that rely only on the end game, only on the fact that you've actually got all the generators powered, honestly for me feel like a bit of a waste because a lot of the time, as a survivor, at least for me, you're not going to actually get to that point where all five generators have been done, and potentially even if you do do all five generators, you might not be the person to open up one of the gates, and therefore the perk is completely useless and you've gone the entire game without it. However, if you do have a full group of survivor friends, I can see one person taking this perk, and that being pretty damn useful. And our second perk for the week is a Feng Min perk, and it's honestly a perk that is absolutely fantastic nowadays. It used to be garbage, but now it is pretty fucking sweet. We have Alert. Whenever the killer either kicks a generator or breaks a pallet, their aura is revealed to you for 5 seconds, map-wide. So it used to be terrible, it used to have a really small radius and it used to have a timer on it, but now, literally every single time that the killer goes and kicks a generator or breaks a pallet, you're going to see their aura and you're going to know exactly where they are. This perk is just insane. This perk is really, really damn good. And it just gives you a lot of vision over the killer, lets you know what the killer's play is, what their moves are, where they're going. And honestly, I feel like if you use this perk, you're going to get a lot of utility out of it all throughout the game. Unlike Wake Up, that you can only use at the very end of the game, you're going to be getting alerts all throughout the match whenever the killer's chasing someone, kicking Breaking pallets, breaking generators, it is goddamn fantastic. If you haven't already figured it out, I do actually love all of Feng Min's perks. I love Technician, I love Lithe, and I love Alert. They're all, as far as I'm concerned, very, very good perks. And if you're a survivor and you're trying to figure out which survivor to buy next or which survivor to level up next, then I really do suggest getting yourself Feng Min and just getting yourself these three perks. They're going to help you out a bunch. Right, and moving on to our killer perks for the week. Our first perk is something that we've had on here unlimited times so far, and I'm bored of explaining it, but we have Territorial Imperative, which is a Huntress perk. Territorial Imperative means that if you're more than 32 meters away from the basement and someone walks down the stairs, you will get a noise notification and their aura will be revealed to you for three seconds. This effect can only trigger once every 30 seconds, and honestly, I feel like this is a very lackluster perk that needs a little bit of love, just the way that Alert got it. Why do you need to be more than 32 meters away for this to activate, and why does it have a 30 second cooldown? Honestly, this perk would actually be kind of cool if they removed both of those things and just left it so that if anyone went down to the basement at any time, you'd get a noise notification and see their aura for 3 seconds. It still wouldn't be the best perk, but it would be a lot better than it is right now, and it would actually probably find some use. And our fourth perk for the week, it used to be my favorite perk in the entire of Dead by Daylight, and I've got to say that I'm actually falling in love with it all over again. It's a Doctor perk, and it is Overcharge. Every time that you kick a generator as the killer, you apply overcharge to that generator. There is no visual effect to this though, so it doesn't actually change anything visually. But it means that the next survivor to come and use that generator is going to get a very, very small skill check. If you manage to hit the skill check, then absolutely nothing happens to the generator, you don't get any progression. But if you fail the skill check, obviously the generator is going to explode, and also it's going to knock you back an additional 5%. So not only is it going to go back the normal amount that it goes back when you mess up a skill check, but it's also going to do an extra trunk on top of that. Now a lot of people say to me, oh Panda, overcharge is useless, at rank 1 people hit the skill check, and that is complete bullshit. I really only end up playing rank 1 as killer as I'm able to rise up through the ranks very swiftly when the rank resets, and overcharge catches a lot of people out of rank 1. 
Don't believe anyone that says that it's not good in rank ones. It is very good. I just find this is a really useful tracking perk as well as being a generator regression perk and as well as just being a great perk all in all. So there we have our four perks and my picks for the week. Well, shouldn't be too much of a surprise here for Survivor. Absolutely take alert. It's going to change your life and it's going to give you that knowledge of the killer. And for the killer perks, I'm going to absolutely say grab yourself overcharge. If you already have overcharge, maybe get territorial just to fill it all out but really probably just save your shards right well let's take these perks into some games and if you're enjoying the video so far please do leave a like and hit that sub button so we're gonna be playing as fengmin and we're gonna use wake up and alert here and give these well what's gonna use we'll make it so that when we unhook someone we can heal them very fast and live just so we've got a sprint burst kind of uh exhaustion effect in the game with us all right feng how you feeling she's feeling confident let's take our shit out into the fog Okay, Feng, right, so what we're going to be doing here is trying to keep an eye out for the killer and attempt to do generators as fast as possible so we can actually get some use out of Wake Up and be able to uh, open up a gate and let everyone see that we've got it, that we, uh, we are opening it up. Let's just hide here for a little second. Give the killer a second to walk around, and it's a hag. Look at her. Look at the spooky little hag. Where's she going to? All right, well, that's fine. Right, let's just go and do that generator. I kind of don't want to trigger that trap, though. All right, generator, let's go. Let's crack on with some generator progress. She's gone to the other end of the map. Fuck me. Of course there's Hex Ruin. Huh. I don't really care. Okay, now I care. Oh, there we go. And the killer has just broken a pallet. And now we can see exactly where she is. All right, very nice. Right, where is this Hex Totem? I suppose I should just be destroying all... Man! There's three totems over here. All right, maybe I'll just do all of these totems. Good job, team. Good fucking job. All right, nice. We are in the zone here. Oh, my God, and we've got no obsessions. All right, well, I'm going to make sure that we don't get no one escaped death. Uh, no one escaped... No one escapes death. Duh. Uh, and do all of these totems. Because, you know what? Totems are my friend. You just hang around on the hook for a little bit. Don't freak out. Don't lose your shit. I'll be over to save you, and then I'll heal your ass super, super swiftly. Okay, and there goes the third totem. All right. So, there's only one totem left in the match now that could potentially be no one escapes death. Uh, feels good, feels good, but it would be really nice if my teammates could actually get a generator done after I've been doing all this hard work over here. Oh, he's struggling? Don't you dare struggle, dude. I'm gonna come and save your ass. Oh, she's fucking miles away. Oh, but she is coming this way. All right, you just chill out, Jake. Chill out. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, Jake, get down from there. Jake, get down from there. Don't tunnel him, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. How very rude, Jake. Jake, run for it. Run for your life. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, she got... Oh, God, she's got decent add-ons on. Fucking hell. Okay, so she is using the shackles add-on, I think. Christ. Yikes. Okay, well, that was a big yikes from me. That was actually, actually scared the crap out of me. Okay, team. Look out, Kate. Look out. She does have traps. And you will not be aware that she's got the traps. Kate. Kate. You've killed me, Kate. You've killed me, Kate. All right, let's just be gone from here. Is she chasing me? She is not chasing me. All right, let's go and see if we can heal up this Jake over here. Oh, good lord. Jakey boy. Let me touch you. I got swift heals. Okay. Right, we've done two generators. That's kind of nice. Can we get this Jake healed up? Jake wants to do the totem as well, which I can totally, totally appreciate. I do wonder if she's got barbecue and chili. Is she going to come over here? She's not coming. All right, nice. Thank you very much, sweet but psycho. Appreciate that. You do that totem, and uh, I'll go and try and find a... Well, I guess I could just go and save that person, right? I don't know, I'm a little bit intimidated about the traps that she's got. You're just not going to know where they are until she decides that she wants to use it. Okay, spooky. Spooky. This hag, I like her build though. Whoa, my fucking god! Dude, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I'm going to have to save this person. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, that was, that was pathetic. That was pathetic, I'm sorry. Hag, pick me up and take me away somewhere. Come on, take me away somewhere. Ah, I'm so sorry, Kate. Look at you hanging there. What was I meant to do? I don't know what I was meant to do. I panicked a little bit. Honestly, these traps 
are very strange. So she's got, I think that her add-ons are the shackles and the grandma's heart. Jesus Christ, Kate. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I guess because the killer's camping, but uh, shit, son. Jake, Jake, be careful, my friend. Jake, she's gonna hook me, Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake. Jake! No! I was so close! Okay, well, second hook for me. Uh, looks like we might not be escaping this fucking trial alive. Looks like we might just be getting absolutely slaughtered here. Yeah, he's down. She's gonna come over here. She's gonna kill Jake. She's gonna kill me. Life is pain. Jake! No! My friend! Run! 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 Is she onto me? Oh, she's on to me. I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. There's no way that we're going to be able to survive this, I don't think. So that's nice. That's nice. Everyone get your nice bit of regen on. I'm not using that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Can I actually get the save here? Oh. You're up, buddy. You're up. You're back in the game. Okay, you're not in the game anymore, you're dead. And... What the fuck are you doing, dude? Well done. Well done moving like that, Jake, and making it so that I can't heal you. Bravo. Bravo. Give yourself a pat on the freaking face with your fist. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try again here. Alright, game number two. Let's pr just pretend that this one didn't happen at all. Very scary add-on, honestly. Very scary. And she did have no one escapes death, so we had done all the totems, so... If we did get to the end game there, we weren't going to get no edit, but uh, uh, we didn't manage to get to the end game. All right, let's try that again. Right, I'm feeling a little bit traumatized after that game, so I'm going to bring in a flashlight. I doubt we're going to get another hag, but Jesus Christ, having a flashlight would have been awesome there. Uh, and let's go to the swamp. Killers love the swamp. Killers love the swamp. Don't worry, guys. Burning a swamp offering is not toxic. Killers absolutely adore it there. Okay, yeah, the swamp. And I think... The killer did burn a Mori, or burn some sort of secret, which is probably a Mori. Uh, so yay, happy days for us. Let's try to avoid getting our uh, face caved in by whatever killer this is. It's Leatherface! God! Oh. He went straight underneath here? Why would he do that? Oh. Jesus Christ, dude! What the fuck? Alright, well that was not good. Why, how did he know the guy was right there? Oh my fucking god. Nice. Well, I can't see this going very well with one dickhead disconnecting straight away. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ace. Jesus fucking Christ, man. We're getting ruined. And he shouldn't be able to see my aura behind this generator with barbecue, so... Maybe we'll be safe here. Maybe we can actually do a generator. Maybe we can get the hatch. That's all that I'm going to hope for here. Okay, nice. We know where the killer is. Okay, right. Let's go and do some some save things. Yeah. I'm coming to save you, Ace. I'm coming to save you. But we're probably not going to survive. I hope that you're aware of that. Uh, do not... Where the fuck? Oh, he's miles away. Okay, nice. Ace. I love you, Ace. Get down from there, Ace. Would you like some fast heal? Oh, make your choice on fucking Leatherface. I can't heal you, friend. I can't heal you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would love to heal you. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Leatherface, he's coming to punch my asshole. Uh, right. Well, let's go back onto our generator and see. I'd actually like to get a flashlight save. That would be fucking awesome, but... I don't know if it's going to happen, but you know what? I'm going to try it. There we go, nice old alert. Let me know where uh, everything's happening. And he's going into the underground. Alright, well this is not a place that I honestly want to fight or chase people, uh, be chased by. But, my maker choice has run off. Okay. Honestly, no idea where the killer is. Oh, now I do. 
fuck. I'm so sorry, Ace. I shit the bed. I shit the bed, Ace. I shit the bed. Oh, God. I shit the bed even harder. No, 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 Mr. Leatherface. No. Oh, God. Okay, right. Mission. Oh, my God. He's right up my ass. Fuck you with your Franklin's demise. Okay, we are not in a good spot here. Oh, my God. He's so fucking fast. Ha ha. Suck my dick. Oh, and he's back up. Nice. Woo! <laughs> oh shit, that's a wall. Okay. Alright, alright, I had that one coming. I had that one coming. Do the generator, my friends! I'll take the hook. Do the gen! He's coming straight over there. He's got barbecue and chili. He's gonna come and eat your souls. Alright, two generators though. I actually can't complain on that. That means that we do have hatch capabilities, which is kind of nice. Let's see if we can actually make this go somewhere, because at this point, I'm not feeling confident. Save me! Save thing! Save me! You're doing it, Adam, you're doing it. He's got to make your choice, though. I don't know if you're aware of that. Sad times. Good luck with that, friend. Good luck with that. All right, let's just walk away. Nice and slowly. Nice and chill. Did Adam follow me? He didn't? Oh, he's all over there. All right, nice. God, alert is really useful. Like, really, really useful. I really like it. Uh, I wish I had a med kit. Oh, he's chainsawing someone. All right. Gives me some time to do a bit of gen. No, Ace. Ace is down. All right, so he was working that gen over there, though. I wonder how progressed it is. It's probably pretty nearly completed. Also, shit. I've just realized I need to be close to him. So we don't get barbecue and chilied? Oh, yikes. Stay there, Ace. Don't. Fucking panic. He's going back to kick that generator over there. Oh, he kicked that generator over there? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We know that he likes to... Oh, good job. Good job, good job, good job. We know that he likes to camp a little bit. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I'm coming, Ace. Or am I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ace, get the fuck down from there. Run, buddy, run. He's, he's fucked. Ace is fucked. I'm sorry, Ace. I love you, buddy, but you're in some serious trouble there. No. Ace. All right, Ace is dead. So that leaves us with two generators. Fuck, I just want to be able to get wake up to work. Be able to demonstrate that. But he's going to hook him. Then he's going to use barbecue and chili. He's going to see where I am. And he's going to come over here. I'm going to wait here two, three, four seconds. Now let's fuck off. Into the corner over here. And go and hide. He'll come over. He'll kick the generator. Then I'll go back in. And we will try and get it completed. Shit. He didn't come straight over here. Okay, well, let's try and finish this then. Damn, I could have got this finished in the amount of time that it took me to go and hide in that goddamn corner. Okay, well, one generator remains. I really hope that my friend's been working on a generator somewhere on the map somewhere, and he's going to pop it soon. Okay. So, killer's over there. He's going that way. Let's snake around the map to this generator here. And hopefully, he's chasing Big J. Big J! Is he going to hook him? That is the question. He is hooking him. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Alright, I've got to be close because of barbecue and chili. He's getting basemented as well. Shh. Be quiet, Feng. Be quiet. Okay. Oh, he's got kindred as well. What a legend. What a legend. Alright. I'm going to save you, friend. I like people with kindred. People with kindred are all good to me. Oh god. He's really close. Am I dead? Am I dead? Does he know that I'm here? Oh, 
Holy fuck! Okay, 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 okay. Alright, well, you know what? Oh, Big J! Deliverance! What a beast! Run, my friend, run! Run! Don't run straight into the killer! Escape! Escape, my buddy! I believe in you! I'm just gonna let myself die. I'm just gonna let myself die. Go on, Feng. Just let yourself die. Maybe Adam can survive. The dream. The dream. Run, Adam, run! Find the exit gate! I love you! Oh my god, you're dead. Oh, nice sprint burst, but I'm pretty sure that you're dead, Adam. Alright, I tried to die so that you could survive. Nice. Nice, but he's coming. He's coming, friend. There's no hatch around here, buddy. There's no hatch around here. Alright. Rest in peace, Adam. You tried. You tried. Oh! No! Leatherface! You bastard! Why didn't you just mori him? Completely missed out on that, my friend. Wow, we all brought in flashlights? What the fuck was that? I didn't even see that in the pre-game lobby. Ah, well, no wonder he brought Franklin's demise in. Surprised he didn't bring in Lightborn. I guess he probably doesn't have it, actually. Okay, third time lucky. Can we get Wake Up to activate? Can we get to the end game? Please, no disconnections. Please, please, please. Okay, take three. Let's just crack on with some generators. I brought in a big dick toolbox, so we should be able to just absolutely massacre out this generator in here. Any indication of what killer it is? Damn, we've got no decisive strikes. Honestly, I actually enjoy it when we've got at least one obsession in the game, just because it makes it a little bit more interesting. And, uh, you know, you get that one extra, like, save at some point. Hey, but we don't have any hex ruin. What? All right, we've got level two hex ruin. Level two hex ruin. Well, I don't have it, so it's my job to crack on with the gens and attempt to do as much as I can until someone destroys that hex totem. If you don't know, Hex Ruin 1 and Hex Ruin 2, uh, the first one only affects one person, I think the second one only affects two people, and then Rank 3 affects all four people. So, yeah, it's not affecting me. And someone's been injured. Alright, well, it's not a hillbilly, it's not a Leatherface, it's not a nurse, it's not a Wraith, as far as I know. Wonder what the killer is. Well, whatever it is, they're over there. Okay, and we have Generator Completion. Now, if the killer would just kick something, that would be great, because that would let me know exactly what killer they are, because of alerts. Uh, but until that point, let's just run around and attempt to find this hex totem. The killer could have barbecue and chili. They might see exactly where I am here. If they do, well, we've learned a thing. Ooh, someone's already destroying totems. Nice. That's teammate behavior that I enjoy. Oh, my God. They got instantly saved. Okay, well, I'm not sure how beneficial that's going to be for the rest of the game, my friends. But, uh, okay, then. Okay, someone else been in. Who is the killer? Hello, Jake. Come over here, friend. I've got magical life-saving touching for you. Yes. I still don't know what killer is. No one's dropped a pallet. Interesting. Inter they're just knocking us down like fucking crazy. All right, there you go, Jake. Get back out there, friend. Get back out there and do some things. Do some generators, all right? Do some gens. It's a clown. Oh, interesting. And they've already been saved. Who is saving these people? Bet it's some little son of a bitch with fucking we're gonna live forever just farming points. Anyway, let's do this, uh, which will get us a nice thousand points into the Lightbringer category, which means that that is our totem, uh, not our totem, our generator completion uh, category there. So not only do I get a thousand points, which is uh, the majority of a generator, I to help my team out. Hey, alert! What a great perk. Man, all right, two generators. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. As long as I've not been hooked, I'm happy. Okay, two generators done. Yo, Kate, you're a legend. You're a legend. We're doing great. Run, Jake, run. Bulletproof monk. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Bulletproof, but are you stab proof? And the answer is, uh, no, you're not stab proof. You've been stabbed, I'm afraid. Okay, that's another totem. So we've done four totems so far. Hmm, that makes me feel pretty good. And alert lets me know where the killer is. And he's going in the opposite direction, so I don't need to panic too much about being on this generator here. Uh, the way that people are saving so far in this game, I would not be surprised if he gets saved in the next two seconds. But I'm honestly going to leave him to hang around there. Okay, yep, there's the save. Leave him to hang around there. The killer's coming straight back. You're actually going to die, Bulletproof Monk. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what? If it was me, I would have left you for a while. Let the killer go find someone else, attack someone else. But instead, someone's out there just trying to get those unhooks, just trying to farm points. And uh, feels bad for Jake, honestly. Nice. Good to know. Killer's going away. Fucking alert, man. 
crazy shit. Crazy, crazy put. All right, bam, another generator completed. You are welcome, my team. Hell yeah! Let's do it, Jake. Jake, I need you to stay safe, though, friend. You're on your last hook, okay? It's dangerous. It's dangerous to be a Jake. Jake, get the fuck out of here! Wow, the killer does not give two shits about Jake. Kate, with me. Oh, yeah, we are getting out of here. Holy shit, we're getting out of here. He's coming this way, Jake! All right, it's my turn to be chased. What the fuck was that? That was not a good attempt at stabbing me, my friend. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, right. Let's get chased. What is going on with my sound devices? What the fuck? Okay, hopefully this is still working. Ah, he had the solvent jug as well. What a bitch. Oh, my God, he's right there. Okay, 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 okay. Shit, I was not expecting that. He's got bamboozle as well. Get the pilot. Ah, oh, shit. Well, they're going to get that gen done. And I guess that's kind of nice. So now you can see that we see the gates there like everyone does. But then once they go away, the bubbles go away, we can always see the two X gates. So we know exactly where they are. Oh, shit. And I know where the hatch is too. Oh, man. I nearly had that. Okay. You're opening a gate over there. Good to know. It looks like the killer is making a swift beeline over there. Hello, Claudette. Yes, it would be great if you could save me just so the killer can come straight in and fucking tongue punch my butthole. All right, we're going around this way. I saw the... You know, you thought we'll make it. Do it. Do it. Thank you very much, Aizaka25. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the other exit gate. Screw it. Even if I die, that's fine. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going for the gate. I'm going for the gate so I can open it up nice and fast. Fucking hell, Kate! Leave me alone! Jesus Christ! Alright, he doesn't have no one escapes death. That's nice. Yeah, we're out of it. We're out of it. We're going. We're going. That person's not been hooked yet, so... Essentially, they could eat a hook and it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, let's go, Fang. Let's go. Wake up. The most useless perk. In a while. Hey, it's not been done. All right, so we can also demonstrate the fact that it's going to be opened 15% faster. Oh, shit. All right, we're getting out. We're getting out. We're getting out. I think we're getting out. Yeah, we're getting out. Nice, Fang. Good job to you, friend. Good job. I do really hope that you had no one escapes death and that we denied it by doing all of those totems. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And we're out of here. Nice. Nice. Okay, right. So we managed to use wake up. We managed to get an escape. That's me happy. Let's go do some killer games. And let's see what perks the Mr. Killer had. What did you have, buddy? He did not have no one escapes death. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, GG. Actually, very rare that you see a killer get everyone escape and say GG. So that's nice. Well done, dude. Okay, so for our killer games, we're going to play as the beautiful, beautiful Huntress. We're going to use Territorial for the basement. We're going to use Overcharge for kicking gens. We're going to use Iron Grass, so maybe I can get people actually into the basement. So we can use Territorial and Sloppy Butcher. And I'm going to bring in an Ebony Mori and just see if I can Mori some people's faces off. Now, I put a little thread on Reddit last week or something like that, discussing something that I think would actually improve the game and make it better. And that is for them to change ebony moris and make it a little bit of a more fun item to use. Personally, I feel that in most games, I don't want to bring in an ebony mori because it's just complete overkill. Like it's not fun for the survivors to come in and get knocked down once and then get moried and all that stuff. And I just don't see why moris are like how they are, at least ebony moris. I get the yellow one. Yellow one's great. And the green one giving you the ability to kill one survivor after they've been hooked. That's kind of cool. But then you say ebony and you can kill all four people. It just seems like complete overkill. So my suggestion is that the green Mori, let it, you can hook a person once, they get unhooked, then you can knock them down and kill them. Okay, that's fine. But change the Ebony Mori so that you can do that to all four people, but they have to have already gone into the struggle phase on the hook. This would mean that they would essentially be dead on the next hook if you can knock them down. So if you did carry them over there and hang them up, they're dead. But instead of doing that, you have the option to do one of these cool execution moves and just kill the survivor. In my opinion, that would make Ebony Moris far more interesting to use, and I would actually probably use up all of them that I've got. I've got over 200 Moris across all of my killers, and I just don't use them. 
because I just find it boring and I find like it's not a fun experience for the survivor or particularly for the killer. However, a ton of people disagreed with me and they like Moris the way that they are, but you know what guys, guess what? People used to like the old Mori system where you didn't even have to hook someone, all you have to do is knock them down and then you could murder them. It was great. Bring in an Ebony Mori, knock someone down with a hillbilly and instantly Mori them and they're dead and out of the game. You know, they needed nerfing, they did this nerf, but I really do think that Ebony Mori's need another bit of a nerf just to make them a bit more entertaining. Anyway, let me know what you think about that suggestion down in the comment section. I personally feel like it would make the game uh, far more interesting. Okay, time to unleash my inner psycho, my inner uh, lovely huntress, bear-faced murder lady. Let's go, Huntress. Let's see if we can find some survivors here and quickly chop them up into submission. Okay, and we have the groaning storehouse. Oh, did I just catch sight of someone going into the shack here? Are they hiding? I knew she was going to do that. Fuck, I was going to prepare my hatchet. Ah, well, that's unfortunate. But she's destroyed probably the most powerful pallet in the entire game two seconds into the match. So I can't really complain about that too much. The fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Hey, Meg. Oh, bad hatchet throws from me here. Meg. Meg. How you doing, Meg? I can just left click you here, friends. Yes, drop the pallet. Good idea. All right, we're going to kick these down. Honestly, the more of these that get destroyed early on, the better. Where the fuck did she go? There she is. Meg. Oh, man, that was nearly a good throw. And this one. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. One generator completes already. Fuck. Meg! Come here, Meg! You're pissing me the fuck off, Meg! Oh my god, I'm gonna actually lose my goddamn mind here. Megan, you're a son of a bitch. You're a son of a bitch. Where's she gone? Where's she gone? Over there? Well, you know what? Fuck, let's go after Nia here. Hello, Nia! I need some more hatchets. Get the fuck off here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go somewhere else. Alright, give me this. I hear footsteps on my left. So let's run around here. Where are you? Honestly, where are you? Oh man, they've kept on running this way. Shit, this is a nightmare. Okay, you're back on the generator. Yeah, big surprise, big surprise. Hey, Nia, how do you do? How do you do? Let's get you knocked down here, friend. Oh, God fucking damn. Come here, Nia. Okay, that's one. And there's no wall there, Nia. There's no wall there. All right, let's go kick the generator first. Uh, get some more hatchets and try and take it. Is the basement here? The basement is here. All right, that's great. That's great. But you know what? She's going to decide to strike me anyway. So pretty much sad time. What the fuck? What the fuck was that thing? Oh, okay, I can't believe that managed to hit. All right, fine. We're going to go and we're going to get the Nia though. That's obviously some sort of elite distraction tactic that Nia can get saved. Hello there, friend. Am I gonna get pallet slammed? Nope, all right, use your D-strike, use it. There you go, well done, you're a freaking legend. Freaking legend, Nia. Okay, fuck me, fuck me, this is not going well. Honestly, I'm really struggling. Not happy with this at all. All right, so where have you gone, you little shithead? Gone this way, gone this way, gone this way. Gone this way, they run through here. Oh, there goes Meg. And this generator is being smashed out. Hi there, David! Okay, I'll take that. And hopefully we can get David fucked up here. Nice. Meg's going to be going for the generator. We don't like that, Meg. We don't like that at all. Okay, I like that, though. That was, that was pro. All right, let's kick this. Get David. Hang him up. David. Come here. Someone's got a flashlight. Someone's got a flashlight, and her name is Meg. Come on, Meg, shine it in my eyes. Good girl. Good girl. Do that again. Try that again. Oh, hello there, Nia. Okay, right. Well, this is not too bad, I guess, this situation. Mm, I need some more hatchets, though. That is the issue here. And we do have the Mori. I kind of am absolutely in the mood for using the Mori on these people, as they are kind of fucking me up so far. All right, David's off to his death. Good job, David. Proud of you, friend. Proud of you. Hey there, Meg. Yep, you are also... Oh, you're also a little son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, we got the Meg. We got the Meg knocked down. Good. Let's get her down to the basement, uh, which should be right here. No, it's not right here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, we'll take her over here. I want to get that David. I want to go murder him. I just want to go Mori's face off. 
That is my plan here. That is my design. That is my, uh... That is my deal. That's what I want to do. And he's back up. All right, so he's been picked up over here. There they go, my little friends. She's been saved instantly. Holy fucking shit. Hello there. What? Oh, that was a dead heart. Jesus Christ, Neo. Well done. Nice dead heart. I like it. All right, let's see if you can keep it going here. Keep it going, Neo. <laughs> okay, right, and I need to hook her up. She's already used her D strike as well, which is nice. So, you ain't gonna be striking me again, little friend, are you? And let's take a mm, let's take a next to this generator here. As they seem to really, really be in the mood to complete this. Someone's back on it again. All right, two generators remain. Not looking too good for me, but we do have the ability to mori three of them now. And I think that David is still down here somewhere. David. Friend? Are you here? Oh god, he's not here. He's not here. Alright, we need to really get these Moris on the go. We need to start chaining these deaths back to back to back or else we're going to be fucked. Let's toss a little hatchet there. Yes, Nia, yes. Oh, man, if I'd thrown that one second later, we would have been absolutely A-OK -okay here. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Nia, nice catch, friend. Nice catch. Catch this. Okay, and smash Nia into oblivion. Man, I'd missed and then she re-corrected into it. Uh, that's kind of fun. That's kind of neat of you. Well done, my buddy. Well done. All right, so this generator still kicked. All right, let's continue the hunt here. All of my gens are pretty much over here, so I'm expecting them to get... Oh, that gen's not completed. That gen's nearly completed, though. Hey, you! Whoever's on this generator, get the fuck out of here. Meg. No, 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 Meg. It's your time to get murdered. <laughs> All right, Meg. Smash that horrible little face of yours and get you out of the game. Okay, that is two down. Let's kick this generator. We've only got one gen left, which is a little bit concerning. And this one is very close to being finished. Uh, but we do have one injured survivor out there. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've got one injured survivor. It'd be nice if I could find them. I kind of need to go and check on this generator all the way over here, but I'm going to lose so much time doing this. Are they on it? It's not sparking anymore. Yeah, they're on it. Yeah, they're on it. Yeah, I see you there, Fengmin. Okay, that was a fucking awful throw. I give up on that one. Feng! Oh my god, how did I miss that? Honestly, how? How, 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 how? All right, come here, though. We can get the little one, two here. Have you got dead hard? Okay, and we know where the final survivor is over there. Can we kill this one? We cannot kill this one. All right, so we've got to hang her up first. Okay, this is going better. This is going better. Started off a little bit ropey, but I feel like we're doing okay now. Let's get you up there, my friend. So you are now prepped for the Mori. And give me some more hatches. Okay, and the last person is already injured as well, which makes this just all the more pleasant. Hello. Okay, you're not in there. Let's go check this one over here that was very nearly completed. Oh. David. I heard you. I heard you, my friend. Oh! Nearly. Nearly. He's going to go for the save and then I'm going to mori both of them on top of each other. And that's one. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, no. Come back here. Come back here, Claude. Uh, fucking thing. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, uh, there goes my plan of being able to mori both of them on top of each other. That's actually quite upsetting. You there! Oh man, I keep on thinking I'm gonna get like the legendary hatchet throw here. Okay, well, you know what? That will do. That will do. You're dead, Feng. You're dead. It's Mori time. It's Mori time. And then we go over there and we'll try and Mori David. He might get the hatch, but I really doubt it. Okay, well, damn, I needed the Mori that game. I'm glad that I brought it. Goodbye, Feng. And David was over here. There he is. No, David, you got to die. You gotta go. Clearance shell on David's everything must go. All right, well, that was a fun game. Uh, I feel a little bit bad for using the Mori, but at the end of the day, uh, you know what? It's a tool that has been offered to me as the killer, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna use it every now and then. But the thing that I mentioned earlier still stands. Let's give him a GG for that, though. The Quad Mori. 
the GG Denier. Alright. Alright, fine, fine. Well, there we have it for the week, everyone. Shrine Watch episode 20 wrapping up. If you've enjoyed, please do leave a like and drop a subscription if you are new here. And let me know in the comment section which one of these perks you're going to be picking up this week. Again, just a reminder, if you find this useful, please do link it to a friend who might also find it useful. If you want to see more Dead by Daylight from me, please do check the playlist coming up in the outro and in the description. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Good luck and have fun out there. Panda out.